clashes late last night. Here in uh, the Cube, our social media news desk, our team monitor all forms of social media to verify stories and see what is going on. So we used SnapMap, which is a tool that geolocates videos posted on Snapchat to see if there were indeed uh, people on the ground filming these reported clashes. Let us just show you, this is Nantes, the western French city here. These areas you can see are blue on the map, show where there has been increased activity, where people are posting. And Emmanuel, if we could just zoom in on the neighbourhood. This is the neighbourhood, um, Breil, where the clashes uh, took place. Now, initially, a 22-year-old man was killed by police in a stop and search going uh, gone wrong. Police have said in a tweet that the individual uh, refused a police check. Either way, we know that he died, and his death is now being investigated by police. But his death sparked uh, groups of young people, angry young people, to take to the streets and to clash with police, demonstrating against this. And we've been pulling up some videos this morning, Emmanuel, if we just have a little tap through. These videos posted by people on Snapchat from the scene. You can see here uh, officers in uh, riot gear. We can tap through, perhaps, Emmanuel, to see some of the other videos posted, uh, which do include uh, burning vehicles. Uh, vehicles were burned, and indeed a shopping centre was partly ignited. You can see here, ah, here we go, here's some of the, some of the scenes of the, the fires you could see. These are all filmed on Snapchat and posted to the neighbourhood. We will keep across this as police and Nantes say they are reinforcing this area, expecting potentially uh, some more problems from this.